Hey everyone, normally I save my shilling for the end of my videos, but currently I'm working with Tee Public to bring you some cool anime shirts at a reasonable price. I have curated some of my favorite designs from some of my favorite shows, as well as some shows I'm currently watching. Each purchase goes to help support an independent artist and kicks back a bit of your purchase my way. Take a look and use code GIVEME20 for 25% off your order. Now back to your regular scheduled programming. Hey everyone, this is Drunk and Otaku here, and I know it's a day late, but here's my reaction to the Ancient Magus Sprite Episode 9, and we're going to get started here in 3, 2, 1. And once again, we just start off with a, this really freaking killer OP. I definitely have the song on my top 10 list as far as shows for 2017 go. Which I'll be uh, probably doing a video on that here real soon. As well as giving out my top 10 for the, for the year. Even though the season's not done. But we are more than three-fourths of the way through, and I'm I'm at the point where I am pretty much know where everything's going to lie for the year. I mean, granted, something might surprise me, you know, and, you know, the ending might, the ball might drop on a show or two, and then, you know, it doesn't work, but I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy where everything's at so far, you know, going through my list. I got a little editing to do here. <laughs> None so deaf as those who will not hear. <laughs> that man. <laughs> What's going on with him? He does not want to come out of his room. He he lost it for a bit. I think he's I mean if anyone has the right to do so, you do. Yeah, but he got, I think he might be upset with himself too, maybe. Or still kind of afraid of how she views him. I don't know. So has to mark the territory.
Be back before I get start. Okay. <laughs> Send him out for the day. <laughs> Do they set this up? <laughs> I, mean, I I just love the modern slash rustic feel of the area they're in, you know? Huh. <laughs> Yep, it's important. You need to talk about everything. There we go. Yep, saying how it is, you know. Well, debatable. <laughs> Pissed her off a little bit, though. You know. She's got a lot of, you know, complex feelings about the whole subject, you know. She knows she's right on that element, but part of her also just really, you know, wants to be completely fixated on him because of how kind he's been to her since the beginning. Yeah. Yep. Um... This is shaping up to be a fantastic episode.
Hmm. You gonna go in? That was a great looking visual right there how they did that. So so simple, but the, whoa. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A nightmare, whoa. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell was going on for a second. Interesting that she stayed in his room all night. <laughs> like how she was just waiting outside the <laughs> like little freaking <laughs> you seem fake. Stay. <laughs> yeah, well, it's natural. That's true right there. No. <laughs> <Being awesome. Yeah, fairy there, okay. Well, there we go, some, uh, okay. 
Speak of me, I'll eat you. Okay. This he grants talent in exchange for blood. That's awesome. Well, you know they, what they say: they exchange talent for um for blood. Playing the awesome song right there. And this song is from the um, Those Waiting a Star OVA, right? Interesting. Oh, okay, so she's been with him for a while then. That was interesting. It was fan service as hell, but that was really interesting. Oh, wow. They did. And okay, okay. <laughs> So their definition of love is giving and receiving. As far as that goes, consuming, I mean, giving and consuming. You say you think only about yourself, but... I love this song. Huh. 
she looks terrified. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta say. <laughs> oh, she's getting mad. Yep, yes, she was. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Back again? <laughs> Interesting. So I'm sitting there thinking, you know, part of him might be just like kind of nervous to talk about it because whatever it is might be something so fucked up that it might, he might think it might make her think differently of him. And then a part of it might be the fact that, you know, he's just never talked about it with anyone before and be just, you know, but yeah, she's right. Halfway says it's a lie. It's kind of hard to trust him, you know, as far as things go. Or a vampire slash succubus style character was interesting. I mean, <laughs> they went, they went, they went, they went uh, overboard. Not overboard. They went uh, all out though with a with the uh, fan service element of her. But you know, considering the nature of it, you know, you know, considering the nature of the character style, you know, I mean, it wasn't like out of place or anything. It was just. A little out of place for the show itself, but then again, we had the Fairy Queen, who was like that too, you know? So, I mean, it is what it is. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, well, this is Drunken Attack. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon set up. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.